Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications on. And while you're down there, give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Today, we're going to be talking about Metropolitan Police. So if anyone doesn't know, I live in London and I have done for the last six years. I've been in London for six years now. And I've had my fair share of experience with Met Police in different areas of London. So so let's start in Wembley, which was the first place I lived in London. So in Wembley, I had the police out quite a lot. But the first time I had police out in Wembley was to give a statement against Michelle. But I was pressing charges against her and they took my statement. So there was that, they was really supportive of me. They validated everything I went through and they was just generally comforting to be around. They made it so I didn't feel like I was being quizzed on it, even though they asked a lot of questions. I did end up dropping charges against her because I didn't want to have to go through court because I just have to bring everything up again. But the point is that I, I tried to press charges and it would have gone to court if I had the backbone to go through court. The next experience I had with police was when the crisis team phoned them because I refused, I told them to get the fuck out of my flat because they basically said I was attention seeking. So I told them to get the fuck out of my flat and they wouldn't leave. So I called the police, said, can you come and remove these two social workers from my flat? And that, then security came up and escorted them away. But then they phoned the police saying that I was a risk to myself. Common, really. So yeah, the second time they came round, it was more they was doing a welfare check on me, and um, basically the welfare check lasted about half an hour. They said, "Do you want to go to your knee?" I said, "No." Anyone who knows me knows I never want to leave my flat when police are around because they can one three six you. And I had that happen once. They came to my flat in Wembley again another time let's go get some fresh air and I naively went downstairs with them outside the, the building and I was put on a 136 honestly they they was nice to me when I had the mental health act assessment in Park Real hospital the police waited with me while I had the assessment because I was too anxious to be there on my own and they wouldn't give me my phone I got put on a section 2 for three days, three days of no phone. I, I literally cried that I needed to check my phone and they said no. Only because I, when I did get my phone, I took a picture of the mice that were running around and I posted that on social media saying how unsanitary it is. They, got, they, grab, they basically grabbed my phone out of my hand so they can, they, they can go fuck themselves. But back on the subject of police, Let's move on to when I lived in Kingston. Now in Kingston I had a studio flat. So I lived in student halls but they were studio apartments. So I had my own kitchen, I had my own bathroom, I had a double bed, I had a table to eat at. I had a desk, I had a wardrobe, I had an oven. The worked. And in short, when police came there, they either removed me under the Mental Capacity Act or they just left me to deal with it. They walked in my room once with tasers drawn because someone had told them that I had a knife that I was cutting myself with. And they came in with tasers and I was like, drop the knife. So I dropped the knife. And honestly, it was pretty fucking scary because when I lived in Lancashire, I got tasered because I didn't, I couldn't respond quick enough because of my medication and I got tased. I ruined my fucking slippers today. I was dyeing my hair and then some dropped on. Kingston police were genuinely very helpful and very nice. There were a few officers that were like, didn't really know how to deal with mental health so they was a bit more blunt than others. And while I prefer it when people are blunt with me, 
There's a certain amount of bluntness that's just too harsh for me to deal with. Really honestly, Met Police are the best police force that I've ever been under. They genuinely helped me in situations that other police forces have just left me. Comparing Lancashire Police to Met Police, Met Police are 100% nicer and and most of them have some experience in dealing with mental health which I think is a big advantage but honestly I think I think the big deal about Met Police is they're a bigger police force they have the manpower to deal with mental health crisis and they know what they're fucking doing they understand the Mental Capacity Act they understand the Mental Health Act and honestly it's just dealt with better in London. So yeah, there are my thoughts on Met Police. I have some experiences. Thank you for watching this video and if you are new make sure you hit the subscribe button join the growing family. And if you want more videos like this where I talk about my experience with certain areas, let me know in the comments down below and I will happily do that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.